So, meron tayong formula. So, for uh, Coulomb's law. So, sa first law of electrostatic. So, like charge uh, repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. So, let's say meron tayong uh, same charge. So, meron tayong protons and electrons. So, let's say meron tayong positively charged. Pag positively charged, uh, proton. Then, pag neg uh, negatively charged, ay electron. So, para makonvert natin yung electron to a charge, so, gagamitan natin itong uh, shift constant number 18. Uh, uh, gagamitan pala natin ang constant number uh, 23. So, shift constant number 23. Ayan. So, let's say one electron convert natin sa charge. So, 1.60 uh, times 10. So, 1.60 uh, times 10 uh, raised to negative 19. So, uh, column. So, pag proton naman, ganun din, 1.60 uh, times 10 uh, raised to negative 19C column. So, negative negatively charged, ito ay positively charged. So, sa first law, pag meron tayong, uh, let's say, same sign, uh, magre-repel sila, uh, repulsive yung force. While different sign, plus minus, uh, mag-attractive -attract yung force nila. Kung negatively charged, parehong negatively uh, charged, so mag-repulsion. Uh, so same sign, repel, uh, while different sign, attract. So, ang formula natin ay F, eto, uh, Q1 uh, Q1 Q2 over uh, 4 pi uh, Absolute permittivity EO and ER Or equivalent niya is ito. So, ito yung equation 1. Then, ito yung equation 2. So, pwede siyang F. Uh, force between ch two charge is equal to K. Uh, Q1, Q2. Over uh, D squared. So, may D squared po pala dito. So, itong K na to. K is value ng value ng K is uh, 1 over 4 pi ay uh, yung EO nasa constant number uh, ayan so ayan yung uh, absolute uh, permittivity. While yung ER, uh, yung uh, relative permittivity ng air. So, 1. So, relative permittivity ng air is 1. So, uh, ito na yung value of K. So, ito na yan. So, 9 times 10 raised to 9. Ayan o. No? So, 8.98 uh, times 10 raised to 9. 
So, meron tayong uh, mga unit. So, meron tayong uh, SI unit. So, metric. So, ang K sa SI... Ang kay sa SI ay uh, 9 times 10 raised to 9. Kapag CGS ang unit, so centimeter, gram, and seconds, so 1, uh, yung K. Yung Q, Q is equal to uh, column, O, pag CGS, stat column. O, so, yung distance. So, alam nyo naman yung distance is sa SI is meter. Then, pag uh, CGS, centimeter. Then, ang conversion ng column to stat column. So, one column is equal to uh, 3 times 10 raised to 9 start column. So, bigyan, tayo, uh, bigyan ko tayo ng example. So, para sa first formula ng electrostatic. So, 3 equal, positively charged. So, uh, 10 is that column. So, meron tayong Q. So, first step is yung given. Q na 10 uh, is that column. Uh, each are located at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. So, meron tayong distance na 2 cm. Uh, what is the magnitude of the force acting uh, on each charge? So, ang pinapahanap is yung net force sa vertices. F net. So, meron tayong equilateral triangle. So, eto. So, sa equilateral triangle, so, ang angle between the vertices is 60. So, 60. So, next, ano yung formula ng force between two charge? So, meron tayong 3 equal positively charge. So, meron tayong uh, positively charge. Ayan. So, positive yung tatlo na yan. So, equal. So, ngayon, ano yung formula between charge? So, F is equal to KQ KQ1 Q2 over distance between the charge So, ito ay naka yung unit natin dito ay dyne. So, ito ay unit of CGS. Ito ay CGS unit. So, dapat yung mga unit natin ay naka CGS din. So, yung QI naka stat column dapat then yung T naka uh, 2CM so CGS unit then yung K sa S, uh, uh, CGS is uh, 1 so ngayon since uh, Q1 is equal to Q2 uh, Q2 Then, yung distance nila is the same. So, yung distances nila is the same. So, same. So, yung force, uh, yung force 
Yung force dito, then dito is, yung magnitude ng mga force is the same. Pero yung angle, magkakaiba. So, kumpitin lang natin yung uh, magnitude. So, so, same yung Q, same yung distance. So, yung magnitude ng force is the same. So, compute lang tayo ng isa. So, F. So, ito yung computation. So, F. So, naka-CGS tayo. So, ito yung computation. Uh, F is equal to K. Uh, 1, di ba? So, 1. Pag-CGS. Then, ang Q is... Uh, 10, stop calling. So, uh, 10. So, 10 times 10 is 10 squared. Divided by uh, distance uh, between charges is uh, 2. So, 2 squared. So, pag inipot niya sa calculator, ito yung lalabas. So, F. So, ngayon, ano ba yung mga uh, direction of force? Ano yung direction of force? So, sabi, kapag uh, positively charged, so, repulsive, ah, uh, pag same sign, repulsive. So, gawa natin ng sign convention. So, pag, pag positively charged, positively charged, ay away tayo. Then, pag negatively charged, into the charge. So, into. So, ngayon, ito ay positive. Ito ay positive charge. Ito ay positive charge. So, mag i to ng positive uh, away na force. Then, ito, itong charge na ito, mag i yan ng positive na away. Away yung force. Then, ito, uh, mag i yan ng um, away na force then eto away then eto ay away so ang F net so ang F net dito is the same so bakit yan the same kasi yung uh, yung value ng charge is the same and yung distance is the same so magbabago lang yung uh, same magnitude, pero yung angle, magkakaiba lang. So, since you are looking for, ano lang, for value ng F net, so, kahit saan, ka dyan. So, mas madali, mas madali, so, mas madali siyang kumpitin kapag uh, dito ka kukuha. Pwedeng dito, or dito. So, dito, complicated. So, dito, complicated dyan. So, ngayon, sa pagkuha natin ng uh, net force, so, ang kailangan natin na force is, so, F net on Q2. So, focus tayo sa Q2, F net sa Q2, ang kukunin natin. So, focus lang tayo sa force acting on the Q2. So, hindi natin yung kailangan yung force acting by Q2. So, ano yung force acting by Q2? So, eto. So, force acting by Q2, ito. Yan. Hindi natin yung kailangan. So, ang kailangan natin is force acting on Q2. So, meron tayong force uh, 1 papuntang 2. Then, eto. Itong force na to ay F3 papuntang 2. So, kung ano natin yan, i-ano yung vector uh, representation yan, or free body diagram, so yung F3 to is, so meron tayo X and Y axis. So, yung F3 to is papunta dito. F3 to. Then, yung uh, F3 1 papuntang 2 is 
dito. So, 60. F. Uh, 1 papuntang 2. So, ngayon, pwede natin siyang i-project dito. So, extend natin siya papuntang dito. The angle dito ay 60. Ay, dito 60. Ang galing natin ito. So, ito na yung uh, vector representation ng force. So, ito, mula, kung ito yung reference natin, so, gagamitin natin ang calculator. So, ito yung reference. So, ito yung reference. So, ito ay uh, 90 plus 90, 180. Fnet sa Q2 uh, is equal to F32 angle Uh, 90 plus 90, 180 plus F 1 uh, papuntang 2 uh, is equal to uh, 180 plus 90 is 180 plus 90 uh, 180 plus 60 is 240 So, kung may, uh, ano natin yan, so dapat naka-complex load number 2, complex. Then, input natin. So, F is uh, 25. Angle uh, 180 plus uh, 25 angle Uh, 240. So, equal then shift 2. Uh, uh, dalhin natin sa uh, polar form 3 para makuha natin yung magnitude ng Fnet. So, 43.3 angle negative 150. Ibig sabihin, yung Fnet ay nandito sa baba. So, pag uh, counterclockwise, uh, tama, counterclockwise, so positive tayo, while clockwise, negative. So, so ibig sabihin, yung force is Fnet ay matatagpuan sa so, dito banda. So, dyan. So, pwede niya plot. So, 150. negative 150 sa baba. Ito ay counterclockwise. Ito ay clockwise. So, nag uh, nasa baba. Ito ay uh, calculator lang para di tayo mahirapan. So, ang Fnet ay 43.3. So, ang answer is letter C. So, yung mga Fnet sa mga vertices ay pare-pareho lang. So, since same yung uh, charge and distances. So, nag lang yung angle. So, next, uh, two-point charge. So, 10 cm apart. So, meron tayong distance na 10 cm. Then, exert a force of force is one times 10 raised to negative 3 grams. So, grams to, hindi to ay, yung grams ay hindi unit ng force yan. So, kailangan natin i-multiply by the acceleration kasi ang force is equals to mass times uh, acceleration due to gravity. So, times natin by uh, sa SI, ang gravity ay 9.81 meters per second squared. So, sa CGS, so, uh, ang gravity ay 9.81 uh, 
centimeter per second squared. So, meron tayong if the charge are the same value. So, Q1 is equal to Q2. So, what is the value of its charge? So, meron tayong uh, force na sinabi dito. So, uh, ano ba yung formula ng force? ng Force between two charges of so, F is equal to K uh, Q1, Q2 over D squared. So, pang CTS, so ito ay stat column, ito ay unit ng CTS. So, therefore, dapat yung mga unit natin ay naka CGS unit. So, so, F natin ay so, times natin to by 981 uh, meters per second squared. So, ito na yung unit of force. So, hindi na natin yan. Nakaya na lang natin. F uh, is equal to 0.981 So, guys So From the formula, ito uh, Force between two charge So, equate natin to uh, Q, kasi Q ang hinahanap So, therefore, Q squared Q squared is equal to F D squared divided by K. So, ano yung K sa CDS? K is equal to 1. So, square root na. Ito na yan. So, force times D squared over K. So, Q is equal to square root ng F is uh, 0 0.981 times distance na 10 cm over K na 1. So, Q is sa so pag-inip po sa calculator, ito na yan. So, ang unit ng Q ay 9.9 stat column. Oh, so, ano yung So, ano yung Paano natin na ano to um, Direction ng force So, ito ay So, ito ay From dito sa option Ito ay positively charge. So, ay positively charge at ay positively charge. So, itong Q na to, mag-exert siya ng pag-positive away. Then, pag-negative into the charge. Into the charge. So, F dito. So, away. Then, itong uh, another charge is away din. So, ito ay Q1. Ito ay Q2. So, umaga, so, so, ang in-exert ng uh, force na to, ng Q1 is, tagay na natin na F1. Then, yung force na in-exert ng Q2 is F2. So, you can say na yung uh, yung force nila is uh, equal. But opposite in direction. So, ganyan pang uh, pag, paglagay na yung direction ng mga forces. So, dapat naroon kayo mag-assign ng force. So, tandaan nyo lang to.
Next is uh, two electrons in a vacuum. So, meron tayong two electrons. So, electrons means uh, negatively charged electron. So, meron tayong negatively charged na electron. So, meron tayong uh, force na 2 times 10 raised to negative 15. And then, sabi, meron tayong uh, electrons. So, 2 electrons. So, ito yung una. Ito yung pangalawa. So, ngayon, uh, convert natin yung electron. So, one electron is equal to anong value ng charge niya, ng one electron na yan. So, shape constant number 32. Shape constant 23. Ayan. So, one electron is ilan yung charge na? So, 1.60 uh, times 10 raised to negative 19. So, 1.60 times 10 raised to negative 19. C. So, negatively charge. So, lagay lang natin ng negatively charge. So, ito ay SI. So, ano ang value ng K sa SI? So, 9 times 10 raised to 9. So, ang um, formula is F is equal to K. So, Q1 times Q2. So, magiging Q squared. Kasi, uh, same yung charge nila. Then, yung distance is d squared. So, therefore, d is equal to uh, kq squared. kq squared over uh, yung f mapapunta dito sa uh, baba. So, distance is equal to Uh, square root ng, so ano yung k? 9 times 10 raised to 9. Then, ang q is uh, 1.60 times 10 raised to negative 19. Then, yung force is uh, 2 times 10 raised to negative 15. So, ano yung distance? So, 9 times 10 raised to 9. So, 1.60 times 10 raised to negative 19. Uh, squared. Divided by the force na uh, 2 times 10 raised to negative 15. So, equal. 3.39 uh, So, ang unit ng distance sa SI is meter. So, 3.39 times 10 raised to negative 7. So, ang answer is letter C. So, ulitin ko ha. So, So, yung ano, yung force. So, importanteng alam marunong kayong mag-assign uh, ng force. So, pag, since ito ay negatively charged, so, into. Then, ito ay negatively charged, so, into the uh, charge. So, since uh, same yung magnitude nila, but yung op opposite direction. So, therefore, F1 is equal to F2.
So, tandaan nyo lang yung sign convention. So, next is yung electric field. So, yung paano natin kukunin yung electric field. So, yung formula ng electric field. So, ang formula ng electric field is E. Uh, e is equal to U over 4 pi. 4 pi. Then, absolute uh, permittivity. Then, yung ER is assumed as sa air. Then, distance uh, between the points. So, let's say meron tayong uh, charge, then meron tayong test charge, test, test charge dito. So, yun, para makuha natin yung uh, electric field, so, between the charge and the uh, test charge, so, gagamitan natin ang formula nito, so, magiging siyang uh, can be written as E is equal to KQ KQ over uh, this thing. May discard pa tulip. Where k, so yung value ng k is 1 over 4 pi. So pinakita ko na kanina times absolute permittivity. So yung uh, k na yan is equal to, so meron ulit tayong uh, SI unit, meron tayong CTS na unit. So q is uh, column pag SI, start column naman pag CGS then yung K is uh, 9 times 10 raised to 9 pag SI, then pag CGS is 1 then yung distance o so na itong yung distance is meter pag SI then centimeter pag uh, CGS So, balikan natin yung problem. So, two spheres separated each by 10 meters. So, meron tayong uh, two charge. So, Q1 and Q2. So, 0 0.001 uh, column. And Q3, uh, Q3 is uh, 0 0.001 if I, 0 0.003 uh, column. So ngayon, uh, ang pinapahanap is yung electric field. So, so in between two square is a point of zero electric field. So what what is the distance so from the uh, point zero zero one column? So ngayon uh, meron tayong uh, a positive charge na. Uh, dalawang positive charge, no, namely na 0 0.001 and 0 0.003. Tapos, hanapin yung uh, distance na kung saan uh, distance x uh, yung distance from, so what is the distance from uh, 0 0.001. Ibig sabihin, mula uh, dito. So, so, what is the distance? So, mula dito, papunta dito. So, what is the distance? So, from meaning mula. So, kung ang distance nito ay 10, ito ay 
10 minus x. So, ngayon, ano ba yung uh, formula ng electric field? So, E is equal to KQ over uh, D squared. So, since S ay yung given, so, K is equal to 9 times 10 raised to 9. Then, yung Q is dapat naka-column. Uh, then, yung distance is in meter. So, anong formula ng uh, electric field? So, eto. So, ngayon, uh, isulat natin yung ano niya? Uh, free body diagram niya ito. Or yung uh, vector representation ng electric field. So, gamitan natin ng pag Positive ulit. So, pag positive naman is Pag tayo positive, positive. So, into. Into the charge. Pag electric field ang pinag-uusapan, so into. Then, negative is away. So, ano yung E1? So, E1, oops, away. So, 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 E1 dapat ay papunta uh, pag positive yung charge is uh, away. So, papunta dito. Then, ito ay positive yung charge. So, uh, into pala. Into. So, into the charge. So, positive into and negative is away. So, E1 so, ano yung, uh, ano nila? So, E1 pointing negative direction. So, kumbaga sa, ano, coordinates. X and Y coordinates. So, papunta, papunta dito ay uh, negative yan, di ba? So, uh, negative. Negative E1. So, ito naman is positive E2. Then, yung ano nila, uh, eto, zero electric field sila. So, equal natin sa zero. So, therefore, E1 is equal to E2. So, ngayon, ano yung E1? So, E1 is equal to, so, from the formula ito, E1 is uh, K. So, ano yung uh, Q? E1, so, E1 siya, so, therefore, Q1 over, uh, so, anong distance na ito? Is uh, X2. Then, K sa E2 naman. So, E2 is K. Then, Q2. Then, ang distance nila is 10 minus X. So, squared mo yan. So, cancel yung K. Kasi constant yan. So, therefore, eto na yung magiging equation. So, ano yung Q1? Ito na yung Q1. Then, ito ay Q2. So, cancel yung K. So, try nga natin to ship solve. So, kung uh, ano mo siya, kung ship solve mo siya, so, ang alabas is in meter. So, 3.658. So, ang answer is letter D. So, try natin itong ship solve. Try natin ito. May lalabas.
Kung tandaan nyo yung mga side convention na ginagamit natin so para hindi kayo maliko. Ayan, ship sold. Ayan, so lumabas naman. So, since ito ay uh, x squared, so meron, ibig sabihin yan, meron tayong two values of x, di ba? So, kung naka-x squared yan, therefore, meron tayong dalawang roots yan, x1 and x2. So, possible na, pag nag-ship sold ka, so, you know, ginamitin natin ang ship sold. So, possible na, pwede yung kabila yung makuha natin. So, ibang value. So, since uh, two values of x, So, uh, calculate the magnitude of electric field. So, the electric field, pinapahanap is yung E. So, at a point, so, ang distance is 30 cm. So, from a point, charge Q is equal to, so, negative the charge, uh, negative 30, uh, 3.2 times 10. Uh, raised to negative 6. So, kung uh, negative discharge, negative discharge, then meron tayong point. So, pag negative discharge is away. So, dito yung papunta yung E. So, ito ay, uh, kung makapansin nyo, ito ay Newton uh, per column. Ibig sabihin ay SI unit. So, therefore, dapat ito Naka SI. So, paano natin yan convert So, meter, decimeter, then centimeter, and millimeter. So, meron tayong 30 cm. So, pupunta tayo sa meter. So, gagalaw tayo mula dito, gagalaw tayo ng dalawa. So, therefore, galaw tayo ng dalawa is 0.30 meter. So, kaya naging 0.3. So, formula ng electric field E is equal to uh, AQ over uh, distance ng point papunta doon sa charge. The distance is 0.3. Then, charge is uh, 3.2 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, ang K ng SI is equal to 9 times 10 raised to 9. So, therefore, using this formula, E uh, is equal to K. So, 9 times 10 raised to 9 uh, times Q na uh, 3.2. 3.2 times 10 raised to negative 6. All over uh, 0 0.3. Square. Ayan. So, kanyang pagkuha na electric field. So, mag-input niya sa calculator. So, hindi na natin ilagay sa calculator. So, 3 times 10 raised to 5. Newton per uh, column. So, next is yung uh, capacitor naman. So, tapos na tayo sa electric field. So, may formula pa tayo dito, electrostatic potential. So, volt. Uh, yung voltage naman. So, V is equal to uh, Q over 4 pi times EO times ER times distance. So, yung voltage niya, so, so, ganun ulit. So, magiging siyang uh, KQ over D.
So, where K is 9 times 10 raised to 9 from SI. Then, 1 naman from CGS. Then, yung ER is uh, 1. So, constant lang yan yung ER. So, relative permittivity. Then, ang Q, pag SI, ay a column. Then, pag CDS is a uh, stat column. So, next formula is ito. So, electric field uh, outside an uh, unisolated sphere in uh, free space. So, given by the formula, electric field A is equal to Q over uh, 4 pi times distance. So, itong EO na yan, so nasa number, uh, shift constant number 32. Ayan, so, yan yung EO. Uh, absolute uh, permittivity of free space. If I uh, uh, free free space. So, next formula is uh, electric field intensity uh, created, created by uh, an isolated charge long cylindrical uh, in free space. Ito naman yung formula niya. Uh, electric field is a volt per uh, meter. So, yan yung unit ng E. Uh, While well, yung charge, uh, charge per unit length, the column per meter, uh, distributed uh, uniformly over the surface of isolated cylindrical. And R is the distance in meter from the center of the cylinder to the point um, at which the electric field intensity is evaluated. So next is uh, capacitance. So Q is equal to uh, CE. Uh, where ang Q is parad, so Q, uh, a Q is ang column. So Q is a column and the charge is stored in a capacitor. Uh, while A is the voltage across the capacitor and C is the capacitance of a charge capacitor parad. So, yung mga word, pwede nyo basahin. So, ayan. So, yung condenser is uh, uh, another word for uh, capacitor. So, a capacitance of two parallel plate capacitor with uniform dielectric 
uh, medium. So, meron tayong two parallel plate. Ito, two parallel plate. Ito ay another plate. So, meron tayong distance uh, between the parallel plate, uh, capacitor, and the area. Ayan. So, ngayon, pa para makuha natin yung uh, capacitance uh, in farad, so, C. So, ang formula niya is EO times ER. Uh, area over uh, D. Well, D is the distance between the parallel plate capacitance. So, ito yung unit. So, yung dielectric material is ER. So, given na yan sa problem. So, yun yung material dito. Material sa loob. So, Yung ER kapag air is uh, 1. Kaya dito, yung uh, ano dito, yung ER na yan, so ER is equal to 1. So sa free space. So, may mga formula tayo. So, uh, capacitance of N parallel plate capacitor having the same type of uh, dielectric material. N thickness of di dielectric material. So, meron tayong uh, two uh, parallel plate capacitor. So, uh, N parallel. So, so, C is equal to EO times ER uh, times area over D times uh, N minus 1. So, ito ay capacitance na parallel plate capacitor. So, pag N parallel plate capacitor, dagdagan nyo lang na N minus 1. Well, ito naman pag uh, parallel plate capacitor Uh, yung mga dielectric material niya is magkakaiba. Kaya dito, ayan, magkakaiba yung uh, dielectric material. So, C is equal to EO times area So, gawin na natin uh, DN. So, kapag uh, maramihan na. So, yung EO matatagpuan yun sa constant number. Ayan. So, constant number. Shift constant number 32. Well, yung ER given yan sa problem. So, ito naman is capacitance of an isolated sphere. So, C is equal to 4 pi times EO times ER times the radius ng sphere. So, ito naman is capacitance of concentric spherical uh, capacitance. Ito na yung formula C is equal to 4 pi times EO times ER times R1, R2 over R2 minus R1. So, ito ay kapag uh, positively charged. Positively charged. And ito ay negatively charged.
So, magkaiba yung formula nila pag uh, positive and negative. Okay, so, capacitance na uh, coaxial cable. So, coaxial cable is uh, C. Two pi na E O times E R uh, over L N na R two over R one. Ito yung uh, balat ng wire, so balat ng coaxial cable. So, ito yung insulation, ito yung balat niya. While dito naman is yung wire ni sinto. Yan, yan yung bar sa loob. So, so, capacitance ng two parallel wire. So, meron tayong uh, two parallel wire. So, ito yung uh, front view niya. Front view. So, ito yung formula niya. So, So, two metallic plate are separated by a uh, 1 centimeter connected across a 12 volt battery. So, meron tayong 12 volt is DC. So, meron tayong two parallel plate, uh, capacitor, two metallic plate. So, meron tayong set natin siya hanggang yan. So, a certain plastic material uh, completely filling, uh, is filling the space between the plates. So, and the charge on each plate uh, observed the bone. So, so, Q2, so, naging uh, Q2 is equal to 2Q1. No, nagdagdag siya ng, nagdagdag siya ng plastic uh, material. So, sabi dito, Nag-double yung charge niya. So, ito ay D, uh, distance between uh, parallel plate capacitor, then ito ay area. Then, meron tayong 12 volt dito. Then, meron tayong ito ay uh, 1 cm. So, anong formula ng charge between uh, capacitor? Q Kanina, di ba? So, Q is equal to C, A. So, charge between uh, capacitor. So, meron tayo So, equate natin in terms of A. So, bakit natin i-equate in terms of A? So, bakit sa natin siya i-equate in terms of A? Kasi yung A ay constant. 
So, ang ginawa is nagdagdag lang ng uh, material dito sa loob. So, assuming na uh, yung yung voltage ay constant, so therefore uh, A is equal to uh, Q over C. So, therefore A1 is equal to A2 kasi constant na sila. So, therefore A1 is so mula dito, so we can say that A is equal to Q over C. So, Q1 over C1. And then, uh, Q2 over uh, C, C2. So, but uh, Q2 is equal to 2Q1. So, therefore, magiging siya Q1 is equal to, yung Q2 is to Q1. So, makakansel to. So, magiging itong 1. Then, ano yung C? So, ano yung capacitance ng parallel plate capacitor? So, EO EO times E R times area over distance. Then, dito ay EO times ER times area over uh, the distance. So, yung EO, constant yan, di ba? So, cancel din yan. Uh, then, yung ER1 is equal to uh, 1 kasi free space. So, ito ay magiging 1, yung ER1 na to. So, magiging itong 1. So, magiging itong 1. Yung area nila is constant. So, ang ginawa lang naman is dinagdagan yung Uh, dielectric material. Ay, naglagay lang naman ng die dielectric material. Uh, so, then yung distance is same lang kasi nagdagdag lang na uh, dielectric material. So, nilagyan lang ng plastic material. So, therefore, equating dito sa <laughs> ER2. Ito ay ER2. So, i-multiply natin dito. So, may use yung 2 uh, ER2, so, multiply natin dyan sa kabila, so magiging siyang ER2 is equal to 2 na lang. So, ito na yung answer. Yan na yung uh, dielectric constant na material na nilagay. So, ER2. So, calculate the uh, capacitance between two parallel plate capacitor, uh, each of which is uh, one, 100 cm squared. So, meron tayong area. So, meron tayong uh, two parallel plate capacitor. Then, the dis ang area na ito ay uh, 100 cm squared. So, and then yung distance is L. Uh, yung distance is uh, 2 mm. So, ano yung uh, formula ng Capacitance ng parallel plate capacitor C is equal to EO times ER times area over the distance between the plate. So, pero ito dapat since uh, dapat naka SI unit tayo kasi uh, farad. 
So, sa unit of SI. So, therefore, ito, so, convert natin sa meter. So, kaya meron dito. So, 1 meter is equal to 100 cm. So, dapat square natin ito. So, makancel yung uh, cm. Cm. So, magiging cm squared. So, magitong meter squared. So, yung area ay naka uh, meter squared. Then, yung 2 mm is converted to meter. So, meter, uh, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. So, 2 mm. So, pupunta tayo sa Pabutang meter. So, 1, 2, 3. So, move tayo ng tatlo. So, therefore, 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2. So, 0.002. So, 0.002 meter. Then, ito. So, nasa constant number 32. So, kung ilalagay natin sa calculator, so, ano yung EO? Shift constant number 32. Then, yung uh, ER is 1 kasi uh, air yung dielectric uh, dielectric material. Sabi dito air. times the area so so cancel yung 100 and 100 so cancel yung uh, cm squared so 100 times 1 over uh, 100 square divided by a uh, distance na 0.002 so equal 4.42 so answer is letter uh, A Point four four three. So imob natin dito pa, imob natin dito pa kaliwa. So magi siyang four point four four two point four four two times ten raised to negative one. So ito na yun. So, ito naman is kapag a parallel plate capacitor is made of 350 plates uh, separated by a paraffin paper uh, 0.001 cm. So, last problem mo na to. So, distance is equal to 0.0010 cm. Then, yung dielectric uh, constant niya is ER is equal to 2.5. Uh, yung size niya is 15 by 30 cm. So, convert natin ito meter. So, 0.15. Area is equal to 0.15 times. So, ano siya? Rectangle, diba? 15 by 30. So, rectangle to. So, 0.15 times 0.30 meters per diyan. So, ano yung uh, capacitors ng parallel plate capacitor? So, C is equal to, so ano yung capacitors ng parallel plate? So, EO times ER times area over uh, D. 
So, dagdagan lang natin ang n minus 1 kasi parallel plane kapasitor. So, therefore, shift constant number 32 times uh, dielectric constant ng uh, paraffin paper is uh, 2.5. times yung area is 0.15 times 0.30 So, times uh, n minus 1, so 350, so yung n natin is 350 minus 1 uh, over the distance is convert natin to 2 meter. So, magdadagdag move tayo ng uh, dalawa, pakaliwa. So, point. Uh, dalawa. Tagdag tayo ng dalawa. Tapos, 0, 0, n. So, meter na yan. So, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and Millimeter. So, nasa CM tayo. So, huwag tayo na dalawa pa. Dalawa pa, ano? Dalawa pa kaliwa. So, therefore, 1, 2. Yan. Dalawang 4 na 0 and 10. 4 na 0 and 10. So, equal 3.47 times 10 raised to negative 5. 3.47 point forty seven times ten uh, raised to negative five. So, Pinduti natin tong ENG. So, Pinduti natin tong ENG. Uh, thirty four point seventy six. Thirty four point seventy six times ten raised to negative six. So, ang answer is eto thirty five. So, negative 6 is new. So, micro.